Tonight, we're hearing from the widow of the man killed when his ultralight aircraft crashed shortly after taking off. Robert Dyer died Sunday doing what he loved, according to his wife. News 4 Jacks reporter Zach Lashway joins us live from Craig Airport. Mm. Zach. You know, Mary, it was Sunday just before 6 o'clock in the morning. Minerva came here to Craig Airport to watch her husband take off. Minutes later, she'd watched as he crashed down. Married for 29 years, Minerva Dyer says her husband Robert, a welder for many years, loved to spend time gardening on the water and in the air. And he was a skydiver instructor at one time before he hurt his back. Sunday morning, the couple woke up early. Robert was eager to fly his ultralight aircraft for the first time. He had flown one before, but not this one. I bought it for him. You bought it for him? And because uh, he's always wanted one he, since he was a teen teenager. You were there Sunday morning. And I gave him a kiss and I told him I love him. And he told me, the last thing he told me was, uh, he, if I might not come back down. Like he knew he was, it was his time. This is a photo of the ultralight 103. Well, he made a, a loop around the, the airport. And the second loop he made, like, after the half a loop, it, I started hearing something like it was sputtering, that I knew he was having a problem. It, there was something going on up there, and the next thing I knew, he just went downhill. When you saw that, did you know something terribly had gone wrong? Yes, I did. And I couldn't get to him fast enough. I know that he's, he's gone, but at the same time, I feel like I thought he's still here with me. I think I, he hasn't dawned on to me yet that he's really gone for good, you know. I'm just going to miss him a lot. I really am. What will you miss the most? Him being here with me every night. We've never been separated. Minerva said she wanted to make sure her husband was safe while he was flying this aircraft, so she paid extra for a parachute. That chute was never deployed. Robert leaves behind one son and two stepchildren. Minerva lost one of her sons less than a year ago. Reporting live in Arlington, I'm Zach Lashway, Channel 4, the local station. Zach, that's just heartbreaking. This type of aircraft, though, Zach, is often a hobby for people. They often build them themselves. Did Minerva say who built this ultralight? Yeah, so it was built in central Florida. It was taken apart to be shipped here to Jacksonville. And Robert spent the past several months reassembling that aircraft. And as we know, Sunday was its inaugural flight. Tragic. Zach Lashaway reporting to us live. Thank you, Zach.